Here we are at the start of the Rainbird Trail in Ketchikan, just next to the highway. It goes 250 feet up in elevation and just kind of winds through the old cedar forest to give you a nice little getaway from the main part of town. We just started up the trail and here's our first edible salmonberry shrubs. It's just about past salmonberry season, so there's only a few left here and there. But the bushes are pretty much everywhere. And then we also have some horsetail, which is a wonderful medicinal herb. It's really great for joint health and a tincture or an infusion. And here's some fireweed. These are new ones. They haven't gotten big enough to flower yet. But the leaves are still good to eat and good to dry as a tea for tummy problems and just for a good tasting tea. Here's some plantain. It's an excellent wound dressing for irritated skin, burns, rashes, and as a good edible green as well. It's a nice broad leaved one, big leaves. Here's some smaller ones. Still pretty good size though, nice and usable. Here's a nice healthy example of thimbleberry. This one doesn't have any berries on it, but it has nice big leaves, which are edible. When they're this size, you can use them to make like stuffed grape leaves, um, or just, you know, roll things up in them. And when they're smaller and younger, they're a really great mild salad green. Oh, here's a few good thimble berries. Stay. One of them's moldy, but those two are good. Here's some baby thimbleberry plants. The leaves change shape a little bit as they get bigger. This is a really nice size for a salad because it's still nice and tender. You can see how light green it is compared to these older leaves up here. That shows that it's still nice and tender. Here are some huckleberries. They've been coming into season the last few weeks. 
a nice tasty snack. Most of the bushes in here, they don't grow super heavy because they don't get as much sun. But some of the ones that are out in the sunshine are just covered in fruit. So here's a nice patch of Devil's Club. It's these big crazy looking things jumping out of the ferns. They have really huge leaves. And they're just covered in spikes. Check that out. Even the undersides of the leaves and the branches just have spikes all over them. But they're full of really amazing medicine. It's one of the best natural painkillers on the planet. And that's usually harvested from the root bark. But they're such a sacred plant that you cannot legally harvest them on public lands. You have to have private land where you have permission to harvest for medicine. Because so they're held sacred. least here in Alaska. They don't grow many other places on the continent. <sighs> Apparently the slugs like it too. Check this guy out. He's eating the whole leaf. There's a nice big healthy one right here. So, that's the size of the leaf. Like, five of my hands could fit on there at least. And the stalk is super thick. It's like an inch in diameter. And here's the underside of the leaf. See all the spikes? Super wicked. Very good protection. There's one. It's like 10 feet tall. 15. It's crazy. Now that we're in the deeper canopy, it's almost exclusively ferns and mosses under the trees. But of course, here the trees are medicine too. <clears throat> Hello. How's it going?
We can see town again. A boat somewhere out there. There's the end of the trail. This is our least favorite part. Not very comfortable on the paws. Back into town. Turn it off now so you don't have to hear all those cars. Hope you had fun. See you next time.